This is the tactical scalper. And mistakes were made today. I'm, I'm, I'm only human, baby. But uh, I use this channel to educate people on how to trade the 4 EMA strategy. And it's also good for me to look back on my own videos uh, to see what I did wrong or what I did right. Today I did some things wrong and, and we will uh, get into those. But let's start off with the overview. Look at this beautiful trending market. Just a great day for the 4 EMA strategy. First trade we took today was actually off the 9, which isn't here on my phone chart. We had a touch and a hold on a 9. Uh, got some profit there. Uh, this one was nice. Got this one off the hold off the um, 20 EMA. Sold down there. D didn't even get a touch. It, it just, I mean, th that is a touch. I just bought it on the touch. Uh, the, the trend was strong. I felt good about it. And uh, that one worked out. Uh, let's see. Let's scroll through my life here. Okay, this one was... Um, we had a touch and a hold there off the green line, which is a 50 EMA. I didn't get much off of this one. Maybe maybe 10, maybe 15. Uh, the next one was a loss. As you see there, we had a, a touch on a 50 and a hold. I went right in and uh, lost up there. Probably lost 10 ticks on that one. That one was not... Uh, I should have put my stop closer. I did not, and so I felt the pain of that one. Let's scroll through here. We have quite a few more trades, and I want to show you some, some big mistakes I made. Um, we had a touch and a hold off the 20, and uh, probably got about 15 off this one maybe. Um, this one was nice. This one was really nice. I think I got almost 30 on this one. I had a touch and a hold there off the 20 EMA. Sold down there. That one was, was really good. And I needed that one. Uh, here's another another really good one. Look at that touch and hold off the 20. Probably got 25 off of that one. And I was so close to my... I was getting really close to my profit goal here. Um, had a um, right there... Had a touch and a hold, went in, and um, yeah, lost 10 ticks on that one. Uh, this one was nice here. Had a, It didn't exactly go to the 100, um, but it got um, close enough. We had a touch and a hold right there. I went in. Um, well, it didn't actually touch the 100, didn't actually, but it held it, right? You see that, how it's not going any further? Uh, that is what we call a B setup because we're not actually getting the touches on the line, but it's still presenting the same opportunity. Uh, went in there. That one was really nice. Um, well over profit gold now. And then this one really sent me over the edge of the profit goal here. Uh, so all, all in all, I did well. Now I want to show you uh, some mistakes I made here. See this stretch right here. What happened during this stretch was I literally almost bought every single wick that was up and went down. I bet I placed 20 trades through here. Um, and, and honestly, when it was all said and done, I was getting five ticks here, eight ticks there, losing five, making five, losing four, making three, you know, it, it was not worth it. This, I just went on full tilt. The tactical scalper is human. And I proved it here. I just went on full tilt and, and just scalped everything. And I think I won like nine and lost five when it was all said and done did not make much and if i added up um you know how much i paid for each contract for commissions i may have just broke even on this stretch here just just really poor trading by me uh during this stretch but i learned from it right i i got mad at myself because i was doing that i kept expecting a big breakdown which which did occur but it just didn't occur in that time period. But as you see here, I was much more patient with my entries and uh, did much better. So, so I learned my lesson, and today ended up just being a great day. Uh, but yeah, I went on full tilt there for about 45 minutes, and it was just stupid and just foolish. So um, when you're trending the 4 EMA strat, wait for your setup. Don't be like me and go on full tilt for almost a doggone hour. All right, out.